Thanks again for joining us for another Altera Central technical video. Today we're going to be taking a look at Juniper Systems Uinta software, which is available currently for Android and Windows. By the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the workflow of the Uinta software. Let's get into it. So what does the Uinta software workflow look like? First off, we can create a project. Again, this is for Android or Windows. It can either be a local project or an imported project that currently exists or cloud enabled through Microsoft Azure. And then we can create or use existing templates or otherwise known as data dictionaries for all geometry types, points, lines, and areas. We can import any necessary background data for reference or for navigation slash staking purposes. We can create offline reference maps, which includes imagery or DEMs or other topographic maps perhaps. We can set and verify our GNSS location source and settings. What receiver are we connecting to? Is it an internal Android? Is it an external receiver like a GUID GNS3 by Juniper Systems? Or perhaps a third party receiver? What's our antenna height, our accuracy settings, XY datum and Z datum? Then we'll connect to the receiver and then we're actually gonna collect data, points, lines, polygons via GNSS or digitizing on the screen or even manual entry if you're trying to key in a coordinate that was given to you, perhaps a control point. Navigation is another step in the workflow. Take me to this point line or polygon or known coordinate. We can search and filter layers within the software, whether it's Android or Windows very easily. And lastly, we can prepare and export our data to Excel, Esri Shapefile, Google Earth KML, GeoPackage, or PDF report export. Let's go ahead and dive into a live demonstration. So here we're launching the software. You'll see our list of projects. In the top left, you'll see a GPS icon if we wanted to configure those settings. On the right, we've got a search icon, a filter icon, and the three lines or otherwise known as the hamburger icon to go to the list of settings or windows here. We've got projects, templates, settings, and about. We're gonna to go to settings. For now, we're gonna ignore the cloud since this is not gonna be a cloud project, but we're gonna to go to the GPS connection settings and check out the location settings as well. So here we're gonna make sure that we select the Juniper geode in this case, and we're gonna to connect to it. Now that we're connected to it, we're gonna go ahead and click on location settings here so we can verify our antenna height and some other settings. We'll set our antenna height, we can set our coordinate system format, DMS, DD, or DMM. We can also change the vertical datum settings. In this case, I'm setting it to GeoID 18. Of course, we could leave that on the default. Now let's look at our units. We probably want Imperial. And here we're gonna go ahead and create a new project. In this case, it's gonna be local as opposed to importing an existing one or creating a cloud project. We'll call it Uinta Video. We'll pick from a sample template, in this case, water utilities. Now we've got our map view. The bottom right, if we hit the plus, we can actually pick our feature type. We could also click the edit and go into the project editor. Let's click on manhole. You'll see there's a trash can for delete and edit. We'll edit. And you'll see these are our list of fields currently. Name, description, attachment, location, and date and time. On the right, you can see those cogs and we can toggle whether or not a label is on or off, whether a field is required or unrequired. We can edit existing fields or delete them. For now, we're gonna add a field. To start with, we're going to do a select list or a drop down menu. So we're going to go ahead and pick that. We'll choose type. This is going to be the manhole lid type. We could put in field instructions. We could make it required. We could give it an abbreviation. I'm going to skip that for now. Let's provide the list of items though. So a standard lid, hit the plus. A locking lid, hit the plus, and other for good practice. We're also going to choose is colored, is colored, which is fairly unique with their software. 
it'll make the colors of those different choices pop on the map. We'll hit the checkbox. Let's change the order so that the type is toward the top. So we would fill out the name, the type, description, etc. Now let's hit the plus and collect a feature. This is a manhole. We can give it a name. We could choose the type. And you'll notice the pastel colors choose from here. We could take a picture, launch the camera, set the date, time. Uh, we could move the position. We could update it. We could even turn on averaging. So we could take, let's say, a five or 10 second shot on that feature. Now let's go ahead and save in the top right. You'll see that feature is saved and it's labeled as manhole one. We click on it. We can actually click navigate in the bottom right. And it's like a stakeout mode. It will tell us how far we are from that feature. Let's go ahead and end the navigation. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the list view. There is our manhole that we collected. If we had more features, they would be in here. On the right, top right, we can export. There's some custom options, but we are going to choose an Excel spreadsheet for now. We could do shapefile, PDF, geo package if we'd like. But for now, I'm going to do Excel because that's what I prefer. So we're going to pick the location to save it. And what's nice is you can actually open it right from that dialog box. So here we have name, type, description, if there were attachment, the location in one field or cell, and then the latitude, longitude, as well as the elevation, the reported accuracy in feet, etc. Thanks again for joining us for another Altera Central technical video. Until next time.